So just who was Thomas Paine? Well, he was born in England in 1737, a very modest circumstance. His father was a corset maker, but he experienced a whole series of misfortunes throughout his entire life. In 1760, his wife dies during childbirth, and this was during their first year of marriage. He was fired twice from tax collecting jobs. He then became a teacher and absolutely hated it. He was afterwards compelled to take over his father's failing business, and then he marries a woman who he ends up never living with. Finally, at age 37, he is recommended by Benjamin Franklin to come to America and to take a job as a lowly clerk. But within six months of arriving in America, even though he'd previously never published one syllable, his now famous essays had suddenly tripled in circulation. And just how did Mr. Payne write? Well, he wrote using the common conversational language of the coffee houses and taverns of his day. And that's incredible to fathom, folks. Now, let's hear from Mr. Payne himself. The world could not have then persuaded me that I should be either a soldier or an author. If I had any talents for either of those things, they were deeply buried inside of me, and they might have continued to be buried had not the necessity of the times dragged them out of me and driven them into action. Folks, never underestimate your buried potential, especially when the chips are down. This is Analytical Survival saying, stay safe and educated, my brothers and sisters.